Good evening, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I will be sharing with you the benefits of microgreens. Microgreens are nutritional powerhouses and can be grown anywhere, even if you're living in the smallest of apartments. They may be tiny, but microgreens pack a powerful nutrient-dense punch. The word microgreens is the name of the seedlings of edible herbs and vegetables. Microgreens are an emerging class of fresh produce that has gained popularity with chefs and consumers in recent years and could have a positive impact in the diet. A team of scientists have studied the mineral content of 30 different microgreens at the Food Quality Laboratory in Beltsville, Maryland. They focus their efforts on analyzing the mineral concentrations in microgreens, originating from the brassica genus. These plants include kale, broccoli, radish, and red cabbage. Through their investigation, the team discovered that the levels of calcium, phosphorus, copper, magnesium, and other minerals differed among microgreen types. According to the research that was published in the Journal of Food Composition, Potassium is the most common element present in all microgreens. Wasabi microgreens contain the highest values of potassium, while radish have the lowest. Phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, and sodium followed potassium in terms of abundance. Savoy cabbage microgreens have the most calcium. If getting enough iron is important for a particular person, then purple kohlrabi microgreens may be a good addition to the diet. Based on these findings, the team concluded that brassica microgreens are excellent sources of microelements and macroelements, all of which are essential for maintaining the body's different functions. Microgreens are simple to grow for their nutrient density. They make an excellent addition to a morning green smoothie or a quick and easy salad. Better yet, even brown-thumbed gardeners can grow them with ease. You can use normal seed packets if you want, but microgreens are seeded much denser than a normal crop. The simplest leafy greens to grow are radish, lettuce mixes, and kale. These are all harvested in under 10 days and produce a large yield of microgreens. Fill a 10 by 10 propagation tray with half a cup of water and then with potting soil about half an inch below the brim. Make sure your soil is level in the tray. Then measure out 1 to 2 ounces of seeds. As a rule of thumb, the larger the seed, the more you'll need to plant by weight. For example, arugula can be seeded at 1 ounce per tray whereas larger radish seeds require around 3 ounces per tray. Surface sow your seeds, then give them a light misting with your spray bottle. Next, take another propagation tray and flip it upside down on top of the first tray. This tray will act as a blackout dome, which will help the seeds germinate. Most varieties take 2-4 to four days to germinate, Every day during this phase, take the top off and check all your seeds. Once your seeds have germinated, it is time to remove the blackout dome and expose them to the sun. They'll be yellow and a bit spindly looking, which is completely normal. They haven't been able to photosynthesize yet. In a day or two of sun exposure, they'll green up and start growing. Soon after the first set of true leaves appear is a good time to harvest as the microgreens are still young and nutrient dense. Any longer and you're crossing over into the baby green territory. To harvest, cut about half an inch above the surface of the soil. Try not to pull up any dirt. This will make cleaning your microgreens hard. Washing microgreens can be done but it's unnecessary if you've harvested in a clean fashion. Microgreens can taste just as delicious as fully developed vegetables, providing a nice textural contrast to any dish.
I hope that you have found this information useful. Also, please share it with others. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.